Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of my best crappie lures for spring crappie fishing. So a few weeks ago I did a video and we talked about the best crappie lures for early spring. We were talking about when the ice first got off the lakes or if you're in a southern part of the country uh, when it first started warming up and the crappies moved out of the deeper water and started to head shallower. In this video we're going to be talking about my most productive lures for pretty much the, the rest of the spring season. Right before the spawn, the spawn, and then the post spawn going into the summer pattern. So getting right into this video, during this time of the year crappies they start to get more aggressive, especially as we're approaching the, the spawn. When you get to those crappies that are guarding nests, they become, you know, or they can be uh, very aggressive. You can hit them on warm afternoons, even in the pre-spawn, when that sun has really warmed up the water and the crappies get really aggressive and they are, you know, they're biters. But then still, through, all throughout the spring, you can get hit with those cold fronts where crappies slow down and they get tougher to get to bite. So in this video, we're just going to be talking about the lures that I like to use for fishing this time of year. So we're going to be talking lures, we're going to be talking colors, we're going to be talking the rod I like to fish them with, the reel, all that coming up. Alright guys, so we're going to start out talking about my favorite lure to fish crappies and kind of over time my my old favorite lure and my new favorite lure that you know I kind of I like them both but I really like to fish our number one lure today and that's the Bobby Garland Slab Slayer it's a, a lure I like to use all the time because it just works really well uh, one of my favorite colors is the electric chicken here it is right here and this bait it, this is the two inch slab slayer. In the spring, I like to use the two inch. So here it is an electric chicken. Oh, here's a, here's a full pack of electric chicken. So that's what it looks like. And then they also have these Mo Glow ones, which um, they glow. So here is a, a glow slab slayer in the electric chicken. So here's just the regular electric chicken. Here it is in the Mo Glow. This one glows. Uh, here we've got. Uh, another slab slayer in the green lantern. Uh, I also like the red. I like the red glitter. All these slab slayers work real well. Now I like to fish the slab slayer. This is probably my favorite crappie rod. It's a St. Croix 7 foot. It's a light power with an extra fast action. So when you're fishing a light powered rod, you want a rod usually with an extra fast action extra fast action and what that means is it's going to go from a real sensitive tip and it light for detecting bites but then into more of the backbone of the rod it's going to do that faster that way you can get that hook set on these fish even with a, a really light powered bendable rod so i'm fishing this with a little fluger reel and i'm going to link all of the lures and everything I'm showing you today in the description of this video if you want to check out where to find it or see exactly what it is you miss something and then here's my slab slayer in the two inch this is the electric chicken and I have this on a 16th ounce sickle hooked jig and what this jig is is it's a crappie pro looks just like this it's the overbite uh, sickle hook jig it looks just like that this is the 16th ounce so I like to use a 16th ounce jig just like this. It's got a bigger hook, better for uh, hook sets. But then I'll also use just a regular jig. You can use a 32nd ounce or a 16. I, I use a lot of 32nd ounce in the spring. It's a smaller jig, a smaller hook. But when I can get away with it, I like to use the bigger hook. It just helps with hook sets. All right, so our second lure we're gonna talk about today is a tube jig. Tube jigs, Anyone who's been following me for any length of time knows I fish tube jigs a ton. Those used to be my favorite lure. They're still one of my favorite lure because they just absolutely work. They work all the time. Crappies love them. Here is a black and chartreuse tube. This one's made by Strike King. It looks just like this. Um, here's the Bass Pro Shops red glitter. My favorite color is the pink and white. So, there, But there's just tons of different colors of tube jigs. 
and my favorite colors though are the black and chartreuse pink and white is my all-time favorite color but red you know red and glit uh, silver glitter red and white that works really well the just all chartreuse works well some lakes you know the orange chartreuse so kind of really play around all right guys so i just want to quickly say that we're going over my top lures for catching these crappies right now but a lot of times in the spring the key is finding where the crappies are and actually that's the key all the time so if you haven't already i have a free pdf it's my six step crappie locating system it's the steps that i use to go out on a new lake or any lake i'm fishing and locate the crappies so if you haven't got that already i'll have a link in the description of this video all you have to do is click on the link enter your details and i'll email you a copy of my six step crappie locating system again it's a it's a free pdf just enter your details and i'll email it to the email you provide but that'll just show you the steps i used to go out and find crappies because a lot of times you know actually all times of year the real big key in catching crappies is finding them first all right so going into the next lure here it's the bobby garland baby shad this is another lure that i use quite a bit here right here you have pink they call it neon prism uh, here's here's more of a uh, that's a green banana it's more of a yellow here's a kind of like a a white they call it ghost here's one of my favorite colors the electric chicken here we have blue and glitter right here they call it blue chrome all these colors work really well the baby shad is another lure that just really does well it really catches the crappies I'm gonna fish this just the same as the slab slayer or all those other lures on my seven foot st. Croix rod you uh, that's a light power you can go a little heavier go up to a medium light power it's gonna work really well also I just like the sensitivity of the light power rod <clears throat> the light power rod now if you're gonna be fishing with a float then that medium light works just fine because you're you're more going to be watching the float as opposed to feeling those fish hit um, if you're you know straight lining them or something so another spring crappie lure that works really well for especially when those crappies get finicky or when you want to fish the lure really slow is the berkeley gulp minnow and this is the two and a half inch and it's the emerald shiner looks just like this but I like this bait, just the added scent. Let's say, for example, you're bed fishing crappies and they're a little more finicky. They're not just coming up and smoking it right away and you wanna just let it sit there. The added scent of the gulp minnow can help you get more bites, but when it really is gonna excel is let's say you're fishing pre-spawn or post-spawn and it's a cold front and those crappies are out in the weeds. They pushed out of the real shallow, they dropped into some deeper weeds or some deeper water because it's cold and they're finicky. Uh, in that situation, a lot of times you wanna cast out, you're gonna be fishing under a float because you don't wanna put a lot of action on that bait, you don't want it moving fast because the crappies are moving slow. That's when putting a Berkeley Galt minnow down there and just letting it sit there every once in a while, twitching it a little, just putting a little tiny movement on that bait, but no big erratic moves. The added scent of that Berkeley Galt minnow is gonna help you get more bites. Emerald China, that's my most used. But then I also have the uh, Fire Tiger, looks just like that. I'll also use that color quite a bit, but Emerald Shiner is definitely my go-to color. All right, so another crappie lure that I'm starting to really like is the Bobby Garland Stroller. Looks like this, here's one of the baits. It fishes very similar to a twister tail, although it's got a big body. Here you have that gold, love that, just shimmers in the water. But then we have a tail that, that kind of twirls like a twister tail in the water. This is, a, this is a nice bait for a cast and retrieve, a nice slow swimming motion back to the boat. You also can fish this under a float and, bring, and work it back to the boat under the float, but just use the float if you're fishing weeds to keep it above the weeds so you're not constantly getting snagged but this is another lure that works really well in the in the spring it's got a nice sized body and then a nice twister tail uh, for some added action all right so the final bait we're going to talk about is kind of a new bait to me and it's the bobby garland scent wiggler it looks just like this 
here it is from the front. They have scent baked into these baits. But the reason that I like this bait is it fishes. If anybody who's ice fishing and watches my ice fishing video, you know I like the wax tail jig. Well, this is kind of the same style bait. That's why I tried it out. It's just a lot bigger. But in the spring when that water's it's you know it's starting to warm up and those fish get more aggressive, they're hitting bigger baits. So this bait fishes just like it. It's got that thin action tail. So you can cast that out, whether you're fishing weeds, you're fishing wood, you're, you're bed fishing, whatever you're gonna be fishing in the spring, you can get this bait over the fish and then just twitch it, get that tail to go. It's got the added scent and gets a lot of bites. So these are some of the baits that have really been working well for me. They're some of my favorite spring crappie lures. Again, if you haven't gotten a copy of my six step crappie locating system, make sure you grab a copy of that. Link in the description of this video. Uh, otherwise, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next video.